Hello good people, this is Fisher12 and we have another exciting Call of Duty esports video for you guys today as always and today's video is going to be a recap of all the roster mania that just happened over the past month or so. There were a lot of free agents declared, bunch of trades, new teams formed, all that jazz we're going to cover here but instead of going over all of this you know team by team or deal by deal I think it would be best to cover this through a timeline which for us is going to start just after UMG Orlando on January 9th when Roster Mania kicked off with Rise, trading Perplex to Aware for Sender. Now this would be important later, but let's move on from here because the next big move was on the 12th when Rise again made another trade, giving Wheats to Automatic Reloaded for Miyagi. And I'm really excited about this deal. Miyagi is one of my... Uh, underrated players. I think he has a lot of potential. I think he, you know, often gets forget about or kicked to the side, but I definitely think him being traded to Rise is going to give him a chance to excel. I didn't think the team was working out for him on AR, so I was very glad to see him get traded. But not too long after that, just two days later on the 14th, I believe, Parasite would announce that he is a free agent for champs, but he would still technically be part of the Prophecy Pro League team. But not too long after that, Prophecy would make a trade, not including Parasite, but including Dido, and that trade would be to Optic Gaming for Embos. And these were actually substitutes that were being traded, not starters. I know that would confuse people because you don't think of Dido as a starter for Prophecy, and you don't think of Embos as a starter for Optic Gaming anymore. And the reason why this trade did happen is because Embos and Ricky started playing together and they announced that they were going to be looking for two for champs. So the whole reason why that trade happened ultimately was to get Embos and Ricky together, uh, but there's no word if these two are going to be competing under the Prophecy organization for champs yet. The next big news to happen was on the 17th when Envious traded Clayster and Jcap to Denial for Zumba and Saints. And this was probably the biggest trade to come out of this roster mania. I think Envy really ended up on top of this trade. I think Denial will still show that, you know, they have a good team with the group of players that they have now. But I don't think that Clayster and Jcap were necessarily the two that needed to be traded for Envy. Um, but that does make Denial's team now Clayster, Jcap, Attach, and Replays. And Envy is now Merc, Nameless, Zuma, and Saints. And also on that day, Killa and Mirix announced that they were free agents for champs and only under the Elevate organization for the Pro League. So that team is now only down to study at this point as Spacely announced way early. I think it was the ninth even, maybe it was before that, like the eighth that he would no longer be a part of Elevate. Then shortly after, the next biggest trade happened when Aix announced that he would be teaming with Slasher, Enable, and Parasite for champs because this caused a major three-way trade of FaZe, which saw their sub Huke going to Prophecy for Parasite, and then Sensor and Apathy were traded to Justice for Enable and Facento. But the kicker to this story is that Sensor and Apathy are still technically a part of the FaZe organization. These trades are in regards to Season 1 of the Pro League, I guess, which makes things a little tricky because players are still part of one organization while they play for another. But the story as of now is that FaZe will eventually have two teams again, one led by Aix with Slasher and the other by Sensor with Apath. But that was not the end of the trades for this roster mania, not at all. More trades happened, starting with Aware, trading Perplex to Prophecy for Huke, and Prophecy kind of tried to screw Aware over by basically preventing them from forming the stunner team that both of these players are a part of. So that was a little unfortunate. And the last move to happen, although not directly related to the Pro League, was that the UK team Epsilon dropped PD, which I imagine was for Swanee. Actually, I think they just announced today that they were going to be using Swanee for champs. Uh, so that means that he is no longer a part of Optic Nation, and that was ultimately due to the qualifying rules for Call of Duty champs that restrict him from playing with an NA team. So that was all the roster mania that happened this past month. Now, the champs qualifiers aren't for another week or so, so we may still see some more teams formed. We have no idea what, you know, TP, Karma, Killa, and Mirix are doing, players like that, Proofy, what's he doing? But let me know in the comments below what team you think is going to win champs. But that is going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, at Fisher12, same as the channel name. There'll be a link down in the description alongside a link to my live stream at twitch.tv slash Fisher12. I live stream Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you guys there. Hope you enjoyed the video, and take care.